Welcome. This question says determine the torque about axis O caused by force F. Force is this 7 Newton force. So let's just visualize this. So here is axis O and the force has been applied basically this is 3 meters. The force has been applied here and the force is that's 60 degrees and this is 7 newtons. Now uh, this involves uh, uh, some kind of displacement and it involves some kind of force and so on. In that respect it reminds me of work. But work was different. Work was the displacement of a force uh, uh, through a displacement and the force and the displacement had to be in line with each other and if they weren't I used trigonometry to get the components in line with each other. This is different. In this case I want to know the uh, uh, effect of the force causing a turning effect about the uh, axis of rotation and for that I want the force to be perpendicular to this uh, 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 displacement vector there. So in my mind's eye I'm actually picturing a component of the force like that and I can say that this is 7 sine 60 degrees and so close to 90 degrees to each other so I can say my torque it's the Greek letter tau is equal to uh, in this case it would be F sine this angle here times my, my vector length there. So torque would equal 7 sine 60 times 3. Torque is equal to 21 sine 60. So my torque would equal 18.19. Uh, 18.19. Now the units are going to be newtons because of the force and meters because of the length and that would be newton meters and so there's my answer now let's go one step further um, this caused a counterclockwise torque and if the force had been configured in the opposite direction it would have caused a clockwise torque and they are clearly acting against each other a clockwise torque would tend to cancel out a counterclockwise torque and by convention we decide to take counterclockwise torques as being positive so although it's, if it's not said you assume it's a positive value um, it's best to put the sign in for these, so this would be plus 18.19 newton meters. And there we have it.